اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Now how do we run independent sample t-test in R? Now the first step is to prepare your data. The second step is read the data file using the CSV function where you mention your file as this. Now it's in the same folder as my R script. Header is equal to true. Separator is comma. Now it is a comma separated version. Once you read it through this function, this is where it is stored in a data frame. Now let's run it. It runs fine. Let's look at data whether it was fine or not. Yes, it looks fine. Everything is in there. Now the next step extract the variable of interest and group assignments. Now what is my dependent variable? So I've got this variable here. And I'm going to read my variable from my data frame. So data s because this holds my data set that I read from the CSV file. Square bracket, comma, the variable name in the data set. It is vision just like one mentioned here. And then close the square bracket, select it, run it. Now your vision variable is assigned to this particular object that is your variable. Now let's have our grouping variable similarly and that is our gender variable. All good. Now you have to split the data into two groups. So my male group will be in this object, the arrow sign. Now where is my male group? It's in my variable that I've got it here from vision. So for variable, select all where the gender is one that is male and put it in the male object and for female it is two and read it from this variable here square bracket gender is equal to two and all information with regards to my vision variable now put it in the female for group number two now Let's see the length of male group using the length function. 288 respondents. Let's look at the female. 52 respondents. And I will need my standard deviation and for each group. So you can just run it using standard deviation function as well. Now, before I move on, I need to assess the homogeneity of variance. Now you can check the outliers and the dependent variable is already on continuous scale. You can check for outliers using different methods. The video will be shared in the description. Now to test the homogeneity of variance using Levine's SQL equality of variance, we need this library PMCMR plus. Now if it is not installed, again you can go to tools, install packages and just write in PMCMR plus you select it and install it now i'm going to call this library and now again a slight change group one is male and group two is female and now let's call the library and see our homogeneity of variance run it now look at the p-value here this is greater than 0 0.05 so homogeneity of variance is assumed. So the variance in the two groups is the same. So now once the variance is equal, now how do you run your tests then? So to run the t-test, we will call t.test function parenthesis. The first group is male. The second group is female. And we have alternative hypothesis as two-sided that is it is two-tailed test the Levine's equality of variance is true that is equal variance is assumed in order to get your effect size you need this argument d is equal to Cohen and then parenthesis close so this is how you can run your t-test to compare vision between male and female and this is a two-tailed test where 
homogeneity of variance is true and the effect size is through Cohen. Run it and here it is. Now you can say there is partially significant differences in the perception of vision between male and female employees because T value is slightly less than 1.96. Now here are the mean values of X and Y. We are going to use it to report output. Now once you run this test, now let's say we run the test when the equal variance is not assumed. So you simply do what you do is just write in false instead of true. Again run it. Now in this case it will run Welsh test. So because your, in, your equality of variance assumption is not assumed. Again let's say I've got a directional hypothesis where I am saying that male have lower understanding of vision in comparison to female. So instead of two sided here in the alternative, I will write less than. So my alternate hypothesis is that male have lower understanding of vision in comparison to female. So how do I run it? Again, the same thing. Group one is less than group two. Run it and see your p-value. It is insignificant. The true difference in means is less than zero. Now, but here, look at this. Your mean value for male is higher than female. So the right kind of directional hypothesis in this case, you know, if the group one mean was actually higher than group two mean, which is the case, group one mean is higher, then alternate hypothesis, two difference in mean is less than zero would not be appropriate. The test results would not accurately reflect the true relationship between the two groups. Now in this case, your mean for group one is higher rather than less. So one should run this hypothesis. And then now run it. And if you look here, now your p-value is significant. True difference in means is greater than zero. And this is the t-value, this is directional. So 1.645, we are going to use the T statistics threshold and this shows that there is a significant difference in the understanding of vision between male and female whereas male have higher or better understanding in comparison to female. So group 1 is greater than group 2 in terms of the mean value. Now where is my D or effect size, you need this package. If not installed, please install the EFF size effect size in package. Call in the library and let's see the Cohen D. Here is your Cohen D's estimate, which is small. So the difference, although significant, but the difference is very small. So this is how you can run your independent samples t-test in R. Now, how do you report the results? Now, here it is. There is a significant difference in understanding and communication of vision between male and female employees. Now, this is my hypothesis. An independent samples t-test was conducted to assess whether the communication and understanding of organizational vision is different between male and female employees. An independent sample t-test showed that male, so where is the mean for male? Here it is 5.08 so you just put in 5.08 and where is the standard deviation now it's not in this output here what you have to do is you have to go up and I did call in this function of SD here 1.35 1.35 reported significantly so male have a higher levels of communication and understanding because the mean value was high. So what is the T value? And it was significant. So where is my T value? Let's say I'm not doing two tail. I'm not doing one tail test. So I'm just doing two tail tests. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this here 0.08. So let's say it's over 0 0.05. So I'm just going to say partially significant. So 
so t is 1.74 the p value is 0 0.08 so where is your effect size again the cohen d is here 0.262 You can also calculate it using this calculator, Daniel Super Calculator. Now, what's the mean and standard deviation for female? It's here. Here it is, 4.73. And the standard deviation is, again, we called in the SD function earlier. Here it is, 1.43. one point four three hence h1 was let's say partially supported so this is how you run independent samples t-test in r and this is how you can report it thank you very much